Hi. Another long day. We went to Costco and then Zane had his first therapy session with the uh, therapist and they repeated some testing to see his knowledge and everything, the words he knows and like he's doing, I think he's doing well. Uh, he's saying little sentences but uh, just to see if he's up to par and all that because uh, like this year he made some a lot of progress so right now it's like uh i have an appointment next wednesday at 2 30 and to continue the testing and see where he is and that and for him to see uh, a psychotherapist and that because he's jealous of his sister doesn't like his sister touching toys or playing or doing anything so to give me some help in getting him to learn to share with her but he doesn't have problems sharing with uh, uh, the, uh, the other kids in the daycare. Uh, you know, it's like he likes playing with girls. But he doesn't like his sister. But hopefully, uh, you know, things could uh, calm down a little bit, especially when it comes to her playing. But uh, it went pretty well. I can't say it didn't. And tomorrow he has a daycare. I'm going to try and get him in daycare for bar early and then instead of going between 9 and 10, get him in there like between 8 and 8.30. We'll see how that works out. But uh, right now, uh, it's going not bad. And first step. And right now, uh, that's about it. And Olivia is always doing good. She's such a pretty little girl. Say hi. Thank you. <laughs> I want to say hi too. You want to say hi too? Okay, come here. <laughs> say, gummy, gummy, hi. That's from the TV show Gummy Bears. He goes, gummy, gummy, hi. <laughs> He's too much. But uh, I didn't do anything else today. I didn't call Premier Legault's office. Like, I... I said I would. It's just so many things on my plate, and I will get that done. And uh, I, you know, I didn't have a chance to drop by the police station because I went to Costco the last couple of days, and I didn't film today in Costco. And that I, I thought it was just going to be a quick trip, and it wasn't because I had a one return to do, and uh, then. I did some shopping and picked up the box of croissant and uh, his cocktail weenies that he wanted and that, uh, the pigs in the blanket. And uh, what else did I buy? I forget. And uh, that was it. And then, uh, oh, his chocolate milk, the, the, the individual chocolate milk. And uh, then we went to McDonald's. And, you know, then he had his uh, therapy appointment, went to the therapy appointment. and. Then it's like, uh, came home and I'm exhausted. And just give them uh, some supper. Well, I made a pot roast last night and uh, I had it in the slow cooker and then I put it in the fridge and right now I'm heating it up there. But every time I go to Costco, I have to get a Costco chicken. So that's what the kids had for supper tonight, the chicken from Costco and uh, their uh, mac and cheese and their uh, veggies. But Zane only eats chicken. The other thing on the plate is just for looks, you know. But uh, I'm going to give him a couple of snacks and everything, give him his bath, <clears throat> and give her her bath, and hopefully they'll go down where I can go to bed early tonight because I'm tired, you know, a long evening. You want what? You want what? What do you want, Livy? You want to go where? She's starting to talk. She goes, Mommy, I want down. You want down, Princess? No? Where do you want to go? Mommy. Yes? Where do you want, Princess? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go, baby? Where do you want to go? Huh? 
Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? Yes, guys. Say how are you? Hey. Did you have a good day, guys? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Say, did you have a good day? Yes. Yeah. Say, you had a good day? Yeah. <laughs> no. Isn't she precious? No. La, la, la. Hey guys! Going for a touchdown! Going for a touchdown! Olivia ate all her supper. Yeah. Such a good girl. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi, guys. <laughs> Say hi, guys. Say hi, guys. <laughs> There's my little princess. She, she is such a precious big little girl. <laughs> Say, Mama. What you doing? See, your one is fat ass over there. I have a Great Dane, and he sits on the chair. His two uh, front feet are on the floor, and his butt is sitting right on my chair. And he sits like a human being. And he knows he's not allowed sitting on my chair, but he still does it. Just like my kids, when I say don't do something, they're going to do it. Anyways, this is Crystal. Crystal! And this is Charlie. Charlie, 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 Charlie. Hey, hey Charlie. That's, yeah. that's my oldest son, yeah, his I, dog. And that, I inherited it and that when he moved back home for a little bit and he met a new girlfriend. He's been with her for two years. And guess where his dogs are? It's with me. So right now it's like I inherit them like everything else. Kids move home, they leave their junk behind. And then they move out and leave their junk with you. And then you have to deal with it. So Oh my God, like I have so much to do and it's like with the holidays and with everything, I'm just so tired. I'm running around, getting it all done. But that right now it's like, I had to defrost my fridge last night. The new fridges are crap. I have a professional series, Samsung, with the crushed ice, ice machine, and then the soda stream in, in it. It's a five thousand dollar fridge, and it's a piece of crap. The vents get blocked up with ice, and right now they said like I have to defrost it. Yesterday, me and Gary went to Home Depot, and we bought a freezer to unload my freezer to put downstairs and all that, and then defrost my fridge for a couple of hours, and then it's been defrosting. So right now I have to clean the whole fridge from top to bottom. And that, and then see if I have any uh, more ice there. And put the fridge on power freeze, and uh, I'm just exhausted. And right now, I'm hoping that the kids will go down where I can go do that, and you know. But uh, I'm just I'm tired. You know, it's like uh, the long days and long nights and doing Bye. everything. And mm. right now, it's Bye -bye. I'm tired. Bye. Real, real. But uh, you know. Just want to get the kids ready for uh, bed. And then after that, uh, you know, maybe I can do a little bit. I am 
planning on going on Facebook Live. Oh, that's something new. I'm out of Facebook jail as of yesterday. But wouldn't you know, soon I go Facebook Live, my phone dies. <laughs> so I'm going to go hopefully on Facebook Live when the kids are in bed. And right now i didn't do anything else go on any other platforms because i've just been doing everything else but i will be going on other platforms and uh so we're but i am going to go facebook live tonight and you know answer questions with people and say what happened to me you know and talk about the ivf clinic and everything and the things that you have to be aware of like I don't regret my daughter, you know, even though it cost me another $32,000, I love her. And, but right now, nobody wants to tell me anything because they know I'm used I'm going and I'm saying the truth, but there will be a task force going barging into its clinic and taking all the files and, you know, demanding DNA testing on donor babies. Watch and see. The shit is hitting the fan. They just don't want to tell me and I, just in case I say the wrong thing. But uh, right now, I'm just concentrating on my babies. You know, hopefully get some answers. And hopefully the cabinet minister is going to be doing something to help Quebec women. Instead of the president and uh, all of Canada. You know, it's like, this has to stop what happened to me. And right now, you know what? Hopefully that the laws will be in place and something will actually come out of it, which would be good. And hopefully DNA testing will come. And you know what? Things happen for a reason. And maybe this is the reason, you know? It's like you always have to look for the silver lining. That's what my mom always said. There's a silver lining in everything. So I don't know. Still trying to look for it. Anyways, I'm going to end this vlog. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Because once you hit the subscribe button and I start getting more subscribers, I'll be able to go on YouTube Live and talk to a lot more people. Get my story out faster. So if you could share my video, like the video, and press subscribe and help me get uh, more subscribers, and get the word out there see that's what the most important is is getting it out like the videos are like they're hitting like up to 30 40 hits and you know if everybody would hit the subscribe button and all that that'd be getting up there and be able to reach out more people because the story has to get out so if you could go viral and all that and all that, that we could all fight together and stand up for each other because this is what we're standing up for we're standing up for little kids like this they don't deserve to be stolen and sold off to the highest bidder you know let's stop the injustice and you know what protect little children like this so 